Hey guys, I got an interesting video for you today. I actually didn't do an intro out in the uh, field or on the lake, so I'm doing it after the fact. But that works out because uh, my original plan was to go out and catch a bunch of swim bait fish on different things like the Hinkle Shad and uh, Battle Shad and some working class zero stuff and well, it didn't pan out. Uh, it turns out the only thing that they really wanted to chomp on was the burrito baits nacho. So uh, the following video is actually going to be a compilation of catches on the burrito baits nacho and I talk a little bit more about the bait um, but real quick it's about four and a half inches long. It weighs 1.4 ounces and it's made of silicone. All burrito baits are made of silicone and uh, silicone is a material that's kind of an up and coming in the industry, uh, mainly just because it's more durable. Um, so for example, this one here caught all the fish on the video. I've also caught fish on it previously and it still really isn't all that messed up. Uh, just around the hook eye from uh, fish's teeth is really about the only damage that uh, is anywhere on the bait. Um, so they last a really long time. They're really fun to throw. They can be fished in various ways uh, through a lot of different types of cover as you'll see in the video. Um, and uh, yeah, so I had a lot of fun fishing it. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about the equipment that I was using toward the end. All right, enjoy. Feels good to pick stuff apart, but man, I just love that. I love that swim bait bite, man. So you were saying? Is that a yep. Inhaled it. You can't even see the bait. There you go. A little burrito action. That one got away from me. Got a nice fish on it though. Oh, nice fish. That's a nice fish. There we go, there we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that bait. Just gone. What do you think? Damn. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, I think it'll go high fours, maybe five. He jumped, I was like, that's a six pounder. I think it was on a botched cast. I launched it and it was going to go way over the trees. I was like, no, and I jerked it back. High fours, five, five. Calm down, calm down, calm down. <laughs> Oh. Uh, five two, five three, five four, somewhere in there. She's kicking, so I'm not gonna. Not like she's a giant, giant. So five two is good enough for me. You want to fish? Oh yeah, It'd be great. Take some, take some better pictures of her and let her go. All right, see you later, baby. she goes. Sweet. All right. This is a burrito baits nacho. It's a great little bait. You can over reel it, uh, but it basically has a really tight little wobble, almost like a, a rattle trap would. Just happens to be like a, a soft plastic version of it. I say soft plastic. These baits are actually silicone, which uh, makes them considerably more durable. For whatever reason, these trees always seem to produce way better than those trees. And I get that these trees have a little more bulk to them, but I also think they got a little more depth. 
or at least they're on some like there must be some kind of structural difference between the place of why these trees always produce a lot better fish and these ones over here just never seem to but when this water's all the way up i mean this is a good froggy area but i've never really i've never produced a lot of fish out of the trees it's a tough cast to make right there you gotta play the curve a little bit this is a jig hook bait by the way this is not a weedless lure Burritos are really designed to be thrown around wood. Their nose design is right off of the tip of the bait. There is no lip under the hook, or under the hook eye. So it doesn't catch cover and grass and wood. And they're weighted in such a way, if you're just nice and slow about it, you can usually just crawl it right through wood and not get hung up Ooh Yep, got him. Got him. Oh, I thought that was a tree. Sure wasn't, though. Got a little dink. Another burrito fish. Gone. Dude, I felt him eat it, and I just thought, man, that felt like a really weird branch. And I pulled it over it and then my line was darting off. Thought I got bit there. But I didn't. Just a treat. My gosh big fish big fish oh it's a big one. Oh my gosh you dragon oh come on baby come on baby oh my kayak is so messed up right now Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, yes. Jesus, he fought hard. I might only be a high four, but he fought like a dang eight. For anybody that has any questions on the gear that I was throwing that the burrito baits nacho with, I was using this Corrado 200 E7. Uh, it's been a great workhorse reel for me. It's fantastic reel for those baits anywhere in that one to five in, five ounce range. Uh, rod wise, I was using a Daiwa swim bait series rod. Um, it's upside down there, but that's the 801. Uh, it's a two to eight ounce uh, setup. So. This bait only weighed 1.4 ounces, um, but I like throwing it on the two to eight ounce rod because it gives you a lot uh, better hookup ratio, I believe. I think it's my opinion. Um, and it also is very beneficial when fighting fish. This also has a range that fits all of my soft baits. Uh, my soft baits range anywhere from one ounce up to about four and a half ounces. So. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and uh, I can't wait to catch you guys on the next one. Thanks.